Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we've got the unboxing of the brand new Nerf Instrike Elite Spectre Rev 5. Now, for those of you who have been in Nerf a little while, you know that there was an original Nerf Instrike uh, Spectre Rev 5. However, they've come out with a new one. Uh, basically, it's just the exact same blaster, just a new paint scheme and different internals. So this one is supposed to be getting the 75 feet of the Elite series. Um, this is, a, a again, a Walmart exclusive, so it's only going to be available at Walmart. Uh, I'm not sure about overseas. I'm not sure how all that works overseas, but for the U.S. it is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, so the box is here. just advertises five dart rotating barrel, uh, customizable to all kinds of different areas. comes with two accessories, the stock and the front barrel, as we can see down here. Uh, interesting enough, it does have advertisements for the rough cut and the rapid strike. I think that's one of the first advertisements for the rapid strike I've seen on any other blasters, so that's kind of cool. Um, just advertising the tactical rails. Uh, let's see, what's that say? Barrel extension, rotating bar barrels, uh, folding stock, all that good stuff. Nothing too um, overly exciting about the packaging. It is the Elite package. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open it up and show you guys what comes inside. Um, I na actually never had a original Spectre. It's one of those blasters I just never had along with. Um, I think there was only like two of them that I actually never actually owned, and the Spectre is one of them. So this is kind of all new to me. However, I have used it, I have seen them in stores and in videos and stuff, so I know what the original one was like, and I've actually used I think one or two before. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and open it up, maybe, and take it out of the box. Okay, and so the box to the side. So inside here again we have the blaster itself. Uh, what appears to be the folding stock, the instruction manual, the barrel extension, and should be five beat darts. So let's see, fancy ways to take this out, nope. So we'll just go ahead and rip everything out as much as possible here. There we go. Let's go ahead and take the stock out. There we go. Very nice folding stock. Um, it actually is very, uh, it seems to be a lot, really solid. I've heard a lot of people complain that these are a little weak. Obviously, it's not going to be the most uh, perfect thing, but it does appear to be pretty good. Uh, the instruction manual, two page, uh, just explaining how to use the different portions of the blaster. And then we'll go ahead and remove the blaster itself from the box somehow. There, there's the blaster, and then the barrel extension. We'll just come right out, and then the five EB darts. We'll go ahead and leave them in the box. Nothing new. Uh, they are code T darts. For those of you who are interested in that, so here's the Elite Spectre. Uh, as you can see, this one has a lot of white on it. Um, the color scheme is. We'll go ahead and attach the front barrel here. If I can put it on the right way. Yes, it's the correct way. Maybe. Okay, so with a little bit of snug fit, and then we'll go ahead and throw on the stock, which I believe looks like that. Okay, so there is the blaster, completely, um, I guess you could say completely assembled, and it barely fits on my screen here. Um, the priming handle is at the top, and such, kind of like um, a Maverick or a strong arm. Uh, barrel does flip out with the button on the side here, and you have a five barrel. Uh, or five dart holder, or <laughs> goodness, five dart cylinder. We'll go ahead and take five elite darts here and load them up and do a quick firing test. Um, as far as the blaster itself goes, it's got a lot of white on it, um, way more than any of the other elite blasters have had so far. Um, that's all right, I guess, if you like white. I think it personally looks a little cheesy. Um, it just just doesn't look the greatest and it doesn't feel that good in, in my hands as far as just the feel of it. It feels kind of cheap. Uh, the trigger pull is kind of weird. Um, just the feel of the blaster itself just seems kind of cheap. But uh, we'll go ahead and fire it a couple of times here and see what we're getting as far as ranges. Okay, so it appears to be getting the 75 feet ranges advertised. Barrel does rotate on prime, so we'll go ahead and see. I think that's it. So the, or excuse me, the cylinder does rotate on prime. Oh, we did have one more. Okay, so um, it appears to be getting the 75 feet ranges. Now, what's cool about some of the extension or the 
accessories here, is for the stock, when it's locked into place, you push it in to lock it, it's not going to fold, but if you pull it out, it can fold up to the side, so it gives you a compact kind of uh, sub-machine gun kind of feel to it. So that's pretty cool. Um, it does have a few different things here on the gun. We'll go ahead and cover those. Uh, we have a sling mount down here, tactical rail along the top here, and I think actually that's it. It does accept other uh, barrel extensions. This one has a really tight fit. It does accept other barrel extensions as well as stocks. Um, I don't have a barrel extension with me, but we will go ahead and show it with a stockade stock on it. Okay, so that's what it looks like with a stockade stock. It actually looks pretty good. Um, one thing to quickly note that if you didn't notice it is the plunger tube area back here is not actually sticking out. It's just the cap for the stocks and such. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, this has just been a quick unboxing of the brand new Nerf Instrike Elite uh, Spectre Red 5 and uh, hopefully that answers any questions. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment box below or check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash nerf to me too. You can leave questions over there and I can answer them as soon as possible. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. I greatly appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.